All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, today is Daf Yud Beis Maseches uh, Psachim. So we were dealing with or talking about yesterday. I mean, we had a Mishnah. The Mishnah discussed um, a uh, as to when one is allowed to go ahead and eat um, chametz on erev Pesach. That was um, so the Mishnah was on uh, Yud Aleph and Beis. Machlisin Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yehuda. Okay, Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda says you can eat all the fifth, and then you burn it on the sixth. Rabbi Yehuda says, no, you only eat the fourth, and then in the fifth, you, you hang around, and then the sixth, you go ahead, and that's when you burn, and everyone agrees from Chatzos from noon, which is the seventh, right? The seventh hour of the day shows Manios. Then you go ahead, and uh, it's now uh, Aster Midaraisa. Now, so we brought, and I, I think my, my fears came true, we, we brought... Uh, on Amun Beis, we began with a, well, we brought a Mishnah about testimony, about testimony. Two people testify in the second or third hour. They say that's, you know, not a big deal. The third and fifth hour, the, that's a big deal, according to uh, Rabbi Meir. Who does not? So we had a back and forth as to what the Machlokas was over there. That was, we, we did a Bayez uh, interpretation. Now, today we're going to do Ravas, and then we're going to bring it back, you know, and show, okay, why do we bring all this in? Which the Gemara is literally spends almost an amud on describing that case over there, and then compare it and you know ask on our Mishnah. And then uh, my fear would be that the Gemara will, after like a blot and a half or like a blot of uh, setting up the Kasha, it will just sort of deflect the question. But let's see what happens. All right. So the Gemara says, uh, top line and Yud Beis and Aleph. So also Ravuna Berei the Rav Yehuda. So. Came Ravuna, the son of Rabbi Huda, Amr Lishmait to come the Rav. So he said, uh, by his interpretation, his understanding of what the Machlokas was in terms of how what people err on. And I was do they err in, in 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 a small amount? Do they never err? Do they err up to a half hour? So that was different interpretations of Abaye. If you recall yesterday, if you don't recall, you can go back and uh, look at yesterday's shear towards the end, or look back at the Gemara. So he says. So Omar so says Rav. So Ma Ilu Daikin and Bahani Sahadi the High Kamer Shleish. So we said, according to one, if someone comes, he said, someone says the Misa, the incident happened, there was calling our witnesses, they said it happened during the third hour. And the other person, they, they interrogate him and he says it happened during the fifth hour. So is that considered to be contradic- contradictory testimony and therefore their Eidos is thrown out? So, right? Um, so, and then what, what are you going to say? One says beginning of the third hour. So the beginning of the third hour, right? If the day starts at 6 a.m., just go with the perfect day. So the beginning of the third hour is 8 a.m., okay? If one says the fifth hour, potentially could be the end of the fifth hour, which would be at 10.59, right? So 8 a.m. to 10.59, that's almost three hours, right? right? It should be testimony, right? Edus. That is contradicting one another, and therefore we shouldn't kill. And you're going to say, oh, it's okay because people make an error. It's okay. So I, um, right? the Torah tells us to go ahead and the judge, but to go ahead and to, to, uh, to, to save them. And now there's any way we can go ahead and find a doubt as to the testimony and therefore save the life of the defendant. We should go ahead and do it. So El Rav Rabbi says a, a different interpretation. So he says, "I'm Rabbi the Divrei Meir Adam Toya Shtei Shos Chaser Mashu." It must be right in the Divrei Rabbi Yehuda Adam Toya Shloi Shos Chaser Mashu. That when it comes to Rabbi's interpretation is much more broad because he says, "No, it's not that." Because it, according to the previous generation of Abaye, people let's say Rabbi Meir, people don't make a mistake, or people make a mistake by a small amount, or people make a mistake in a half hour, right? According to Rabbi Yehuda, or up to an hour, according to Rabbi Yehuda. But over here, right? we see that you can put in death. So it must be that people don't know the exact time and therefore it's not really a contradictory testimony and therefore Rav's interpretation is more broad. People make larger mistakes and therefore according to him, he means uh, when it comes to the right mayor, a person can make a mistake uh, two hours minus a little bit and he, we're going to explain just like we did yesterday with Abaye when he said this child, we explained so we're going to do it now. 
According to Rabbi Huda, who said once it's three, once it's five, it's okay. A person can go ahead and be off by three hours and still okay. In other words, a person can make a mistake a little less than two hours. My sicky havi He says it was okay. In case one says two, the second hour of the day, then one says third hour of the day, it's okay. It could even be that the Maisa, one guy said it took place in the beginning of the second hour, which would be 7 a.m. The other one says the end of the third, which would be 8.59. And one of them was off by one hour and 59 minutes, right? Two hours minus a little bit. And the Rabbi Huda, Adam Tayyar Shalai shows Chasim Ashu. Of course, Rabbi Huda, who says three and five is also considered to be good testimony. Why? Because people can make a mistake up to three hours. So basically, right? It could have happened either in the beginning of the third or the end of the fifth, right? It could have happened either at eight or 1059. One of them is off by three hours and, uh, or two hours and 59 minutes. So it's not. So we have a mission that says, One second, we still didn't get to our kasha, why we brought it in, and we're still, we're still going back there. So, <clears throat> first of all, it says, we go ahead and we check with the seven different hakiros, seven different questions. We analyze, we ask the witnesses, the Be'ez of Shavuah, all right, which seven-year cycle, that's called a Shavua, in addition to our seven-day cycle of a week, uh, Shavua is also referring to seven years, it is a Shavua. Or when did this, which seven-year Shemitah cycle did occur in? And which year did it take place in? And which month? And what day of the month? What day of the week? And what time, right? And and what place, right? Where did it, where did it occur? And the Gemara says over there, it says in the Mishnah, Right, the base change at the time, right? Uma ben Chakiros and Bedikos. What's the difference between Chakiros and Bedikos over there? Chakiros, Amar Echad, Mehen, Eni Yodea, Edusan Betela, right? If a Chakiro, uh, one goes ahead and when they ask these Chakiros, right, uh, which basically is time and place, right, then if someone says, I don't know, any day, uh, Edusan Betela, then the Edus is nullified. Person says, you know, what time did it happen? I don't recall. It's not a good testimony. Bedikos, but Bedikos, I feel the name, I'm Rim. But when it comes to badikas, those are uh, um, secondary questions. You know, what color shirt was he wearing? One of them says, I don't know. The other one says, I don't know either. The aid is still good, right? We don't care. But we ask over there, and we say over there, and we say over there, if one of them says, I don't know, then the aid is bottled. The havile aid is shiata yecholazima. Because that is now considered to be in the category of, uh, of testimony that you can't go ahead and make them zone. In other words, there has to be a potential for the witnesses to become Adam Zom. Now, Adam Zom is, is a situation where, you know, just uh, summarize it. Two witnesses testify about a case, and then other witnesses come in and they say, how could you testify about this case that happened over there in, 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 in St. Louis? If you were in Chicago on that same day, Okay, that that is called hazama, and therefore each case has to be fit for hazama. So fit for hazama means you need a time, right, and a place. Because in order to prove that you at the same you in the same time you're a different place, you need time and place. So therefore, those questions are must be answered, right? Because it has to be a testimony, you know, uh, because it has to be a potential testimony that they can be adam zomim. If they can't become adam zomim, it's not considered to be good uh, testimony. <clears throat> and adam shatay chalazima he. And therefore, it's, once you have a time and place, um, it's considered to be Edashi Atayachazimi. Now, be a market, Tayinish Kulihai, Hakiros, Days of Shah, Nami Edashi Atayachazimi. Now, understand, if you say, right, to somebody, um, you know, what time, you know, uh, you know, it, it occurred at, you know, 10 in the morning, right? And the witness says, what do you mean? At 10 in the morning, you're with us. But if we say a person can be mistaken, right? That Because it, maybe he can be off by two hours, according to Rava, or two or even three hours, according to Rabbi Huda, or Rabbi Meir Lafi Rabbi Huda was close. Uh, sorry, Rabbi Meir, according to Rava, right, was a little less than two hours, and Rabbi Huda, according to Rava, was a little less than three hours. So it says it happened at ten o'clock. What do you mean ten o'clock? You're with us. So you're playing basketball. Oh, it really had happened. You know, uh, two and a half hours later, and a person can make that case. So how could we say over there? We can always deflect and say, it's not, they're not Adam Zayman. They just, they're, you know, they made a mistake of time. Not everyone has a, a watch, right? So Gemara answers, 
we give them the amount that they, they're mistaken, as we're going to explain. In other words, we give the witnesses that potential, that out. In other words, if, yes, if you, a person can make a mistake of an hour, so then we'll give them up to an hour, right? In other words, but it's completely different if he's, you know, if he, uh, if he, if he says, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, you're with us. You know, you were with us from, you know, 10 in the morning until two in the afternoon. So maybe it took place afterwards. That's called, uh, uh, that's Hazama, right? But we do give them, right, that, that, that be, not the benefit of the doubt, but we do give them that, that, that wiggle room for people to be mistaken. <clears throat> How so? The Rabbi Mayor, according to Mayor, and this is all the free rubber, right? According to Rabbi Mayor, we give them from the beginning of the first hour until the fifth. Why? Because each one can be mistaken the other way. Right, so basically, you can give them from the beginning of the day till afterwards. Really, we should even give them more. We should give them six. Right, but between day and night, right, people don't make the mistake. So the miser occurred, you know, during one hour, and one is mistaken one way, one is mistaken the other way. It really, could even be more, but. We don't allow right anything more than you know uh, you know between more uh, morning and night. According to him, a person would be mistaken of three hours, so you can go three hours each way, right? And therefore, you can get from you know from six a.m. all the way till noon, right? And really, he should even get an hour earlier because if it happened, let's say in the third hour of the day, so you get three hours before. Right, which would be also an hour before the the sun rises. Ella, rather, rather, people don't make a mistake. Also, even afterwards, they should give him more. Ella, right? And also, you can't say that uh, even though he gets three hours, because people can be mistaken up to three hours. We don't say that three hours should extend into the seventh hour after noon already. Why is that? Because people don't make the mistake when the sun is either on the east or the west. And I was, and, and since since the sun goes right to the west after the noon hour, right? So therefore, that's not a mistake. So therefore, according to Rabbi Huda, anything between the first or the beginning of the, you know, when the sun comes up and noon, right? People can be mistaken as to the exact time. But people don't mistake between morning and night, right? Light and dark. And people don't make a mistake of the sun during being the east and the west. And Tanat, now, here comes our mission. So we finally, literally, we had this, the setup Right, we had all these the, the Gemara uh, um, from Yudal from Bays <clears throat> until now. So tonight, so let's look at our Mishnah. Same people, same players. Rabbi Meir, Aimer, Eichlin, Kol Chamesh, the servant Chesesh. Right, you go ahead, you can eat your chametz all the entire fifth hour, six hour. Go ahead and burn it. Rabbi Yudai, Meir, Eichlin, Kol Arba, eat the first four hours. The Talim Kol Chamesh, and then you hang around through the fifth hour. The servant Chesesh, and then you go ahead and you burn it during the sixth hour. And Labaye, uh, now remember, we had two shot them yesterday. We dealt with Abaye, right? Who says that the, the Zman and that people were off, he, he didn't go to the extremes, rather, he went to the, the, the least amount of when he says between two and three hours, right? It could be talking about literally around the same time, end of the second, beginning of the third, right? You know, the, the, you know, the same moment, right? And according to uh, Rava, it was much more, it was the two extremes, right? The beginning of the second versus the end of the third. That's the gist. Of the difference between Abai and Rava, there are two. There were two lishnas in yesterday that we did in Abai. So now Lebai, Lebai, the Mayor, the Amar Ein Adam Tayev Leiklum Nicha Kuleshes. If according to Abai, the way he explained Rav Mayor, people don't make a mistake. So if you can't eat the right, the Torah says can't eat chametz after noon. Right. So eat up until noon. No big deal, right? Because people don't make that mistake. They're not. They're not going to be say, oh, I thought it was later. Or I thought it was earlier. People don't make a mistake, right? According to the Lashon, says, okay, they, they, they could be mistaken, but only by a few minutes. Go eat up until the end of the, uh, of the sixth hour. And then afterwards, you go ahead and directly burn. Now, in the question, we also according to Rabbi Huda, the Adam, uh, the Amar Adam Tayyar Chatisha, over here, because Rabbi Huda said between three and five is still considered to be good edus, and each one is off a half hour, Nichol Ad Palga the Sheesh. So if you want to be half hour, so eat up until 1130. And according to the Lashon, it says, okay, even up to an hour and less. So Nichol Ad Chamesh, go ahead and eat up until the end of the fifth hour. So Elam Rabaye, here comes the deflection, right? Two lines or one line. 
Edus Masur la Zrizim Chametz la Kol Masur. Edus, you cannot compare, right? People knowing the time to referring to testimony versus people knowing the time when I can or cannot eat chametz. Why is that? When people go for testimony, they see something. There's reason. There's zaris. They're careful. They know. They know. They they know exactly what they're seeing, and therefore they're careful. They're more meticulous as to what the times. Therefore, they'll be more. They're less likely to make a mistake, as opposed to chametz, which is commanded a, 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 upon all Jews. Therefore, people aren't as careful. We're going to go ahead and give more leeway for people to stop before, just God forbid, if they, you know, they're, they're off by a little bit of time. So that was the deflection of the Gemara. And now the Gemara is going to also ask on Rava, the Rava. Same question. The Rava, the Rava, the Adam, uh, the, the, the Rava, whose shita we, 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 we began with today. Who said people can be off, let's say up to an hour and 59 minutes. He should not be able to go ahead and eat even from the beginning, right? You know, by Abaya, we ask, you know, you, you should have much more time to eat. Now, according to this, according to Rav's shot, you should have less time because people are basically off by two hours or an hour 59. You should have to stop eating at, not according to Rav Meir in, in, in our mission, he says you have up until 11 o'clock. So according to what we're saying, it should be really at, um, at, at you know, 10 one you should be, they should be required to stop, right? So mitzchiz chamesh l'anichol. And so the says, Chamesh Chama B'mizrach of Sheva Chama B'maruf. So you say, no, because you really get longer. When the sun is in the fifth hour, right? So the sun is still primarily, right, in the east. Once it's already after the noon, right? It's already, once noon starts, it's already in the west. So therefore people, you have more time because it's really only when the sun comes to the west, but in the morning, it's still in the east. <clears throat> and so if that's the case, so you're telling me east and west, so the, okay, so then it, the people won't make any mistake, right? They'll just look at the suns, no east or west, and they'll know whether it's noon or not. So Baravada no she's yaimi Right? When during the sixth hour between eleven and twelve, then you know the sun is already almost overhead, it's already you know trans, you know, it's going from the east to the west, and therefore there's not clarity. Therefore, according to the mayor, go ahead, cut it off, do not eat during the entire sixth hour. I have a Rav the the Amar Adam Tayesh Lesha is Chasim Ashu. Now, according to the other opinion in that mission over there, Rabbi Huda people can be off by three hours. Lafi Rav, according to Rabbi Huda. So, therefore, if a person can make a mistake three hours, so and you can't, the Torah says can he chametz at <clears throat> at twelve, you should be required to stop eating chametz at nine o'clock, right? Mitchas Arba Lonicho, right? From the beginning of the fourth hour, you should not be able to go ahead and eat. So Gemara says, no, I'll give you the same terrors and even more so, right? Because what do we, we're worried about the person confusing the time. No one's going to confuse, right? No one's going to be confused at, at nine o'clock in the morning. So therefore, we don't need to go that far. So if that's the case, during people aren't going to make a mistake. You say the fifth hour, they're also just according to Rabbi Huda, they should be able to eat not only during the fourth, but even during the fifth hour. So Gemara says, no. Once again, using the terrorists we gave before, to give him a bay, a libe de rova, edus masur la zrizim, chametz la kol masur. Really, yes, you, you, maybe people don't make the mistake, but since uh, uh, witnesses are more careful, they don't make the mistake. But regular people, everybody who's involved, therefore, there could be mistakes making, and therefore, we have an extra hour off, according to Rabbi not just the, the, the uh, not the sixth hour is, is also, but even the fifth hour. The rova omar, lav hainu time in the Rabbi Huda. That's not really the real reason why Rabbi Huda says, no, 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 during the fifth hour, right, uh, you have to stop eating, right, during the fifth hour, um, you're Thailand, Ra rather, he gives a completely separate reason, right? So, Ella, Rabbi Huda, the Omar, ain't be a little straight for. The real way to do be a is only through burning, right? Not destroying another way. <clears throat> and therefore, we give them the hour to go ahead and collect wood. So therefore, the fifth hour is for wood collecting to, to go ahead and build your fire. So when is over there the, the best way to do it is only, right, not during this amount of beer. But during this amount of beer, during the sixth hour, you can go ahead and destroy it anyway. You can go ahead and throw it in the sea. You can do whatever it is. That's called destroying even during the six hours. So therefore, really, you don't need wood. So therefore, it doesn't make sense. I have an idea. What's the reason? Because what about a cloudy day? Cloudy day, you can't really tell where the sun is. 
and therefore, the, or the brightness, and you won't be able to tell what time. If that's the case, during the fourth hour, it should also be Yasser. Since everybody knows the fourth hour, that is the time of eating. So therefore, uh, since it's the time of eating, so therefore everybody knows when that is. And speaking of which, so Tanra Bonan, Shari Shaina, during the first hour of the day is Michael Ludim. Those are the, the Ludim, right? The cannibals. That's when they eat, right? Shnia, right? And basically it goes to be more, the more refined, refined people. Shnia, during the second hour of the day, right? Seven in the morning, who is three meals? Then that's Michael Liston, that's when thieves eat. Shlish is third hour with Michael Yarshin, that's when the, uh, the, the poor, impoverished, um, uh, Yorshin uh, um, uh, orphans eat and Ravis and during the fourth hour Michael Paolo when the workers eat Chamishis during the fifth hour Michael Tamir Chamim when the Tamir Chamim eat and she says Michael Chodim and then the sixth hour is when everybody eats I we just said that during the fourth hours everyone eats so therefore everybody knows the fourth hour and therefore there's no reason to go ahead and um, uh, ban chametz during the fourth hour because everyone knows now is the fourth hour. You can still eat chametz and they know when it's over. So Ella Apoch rather switch around. Reviz Michael Kaladim uh, rather switch around. The first three are the same, but the fourth hour is Michael Kaladim. That's when everybody normally eats. Chamesh is during the fifth hour is Michael Kaladim when the workers eat, and Shishis Michael Tamid Chamim. And the sixth hour is when Tamid Chamim go ahead and eat. However, Mikan Ve'elach. However, if you don't go ahead and eat within the first six hours a day, Kazarik Evel Hamas basically going ahead and throwing Iraq into a uh, into a a, a, a pitcher or, or a bag of, of of wine, right? That it doesn't really do anything. In other words, basically that uh, you know you're very very hungry and you eat a little bit and that doesn't really satisfy anything. Um, fine. And El delay time you did the only time if you didn't you know taste anything in the morning about time you did the but if you did tell, go ahead and taste something, have a snack, then less lunba. Then there is no issue. Then you can go ahead and you know have a snack and then eat later on and you'll be uh, uh, satiated. So Amr Bashi. It's just like the machlok is between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Huda when it comes to um this man and make mistakes in times when it comes to testimony, so too there is Machlokes Bechametz. So of course it's Pshita. That's obvious. Hai we, we, we just, you know, Hai We just went through this whole thing. We just explained how they are correlated, right, in terms of people making mistakes and why uh, and which ones were, you know, w- w- which ones, you know, were we, uh, we, we delay more or which ones we ban. So the says, no, Hakamash the Shuni the Shanina and Shinu Yehu. Veloi Tema Tanahi, right? <clears throat> basically coming to say that that which we said is our legit terusim, and not to say that there's a contradiction between our Mishnah and uh, that Mishnah over there. <clears throat> and Amram Shimon Rashi Eloi Shana El we're only talking about hours, about Echad Aymer Kaidem HaNetzachama Echad Aymer Achar Netzachama Eidu Samatela. But by the way, if they're off by two minutes, right, but one of them says it was before Netz, and one says it was after Netz, then their Eidus is bottle because that's dark and, and light, or says Pshita. One of them says it took before it happened before Nates. The other one said it happened during Nates. Edu Samatel, their Edus is Batal. So the says also also Hanami Pshita. That's also uh, obvious. So Mao Timovio said Tarvayu Chad and also maybe it's really all considered one thing. I mean, before Nates and after Vahai, the Tomar, Basai, Hanates, the Guliha Kai. Uh uh the Guliha No, it's maybe the one who says it took during place. Maybe it was really, you know, before. Right, and therefore he just saw like the rays. And he saw right the, the light coming up from the horizon before the sun rose. So Kamash Malan, that one knows the difference between you know a light shining from the horizon versus when the sun actually comes up, and therefore it would be contradictory testimony. All right, we'll stop here. Everybody have a good day and enjoy the sun.